Hallelujah. Come on, I'm going to get Jason out there. If you want to be it, you want to be like the Lord of the Lord. God, I need you. I need you more and more and more.
Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. At this time, call the deacons forward for scripture and prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 To God be the glory Hallelujah. for all the things Hallelujah. he has done. Yes, yes. Come on, can we just lift our voices and just give God a Shabbat in this house? He's kept me from danger, seen and unseen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy. Heavenly Father, we come here this morning seeking your love, your guidance, your understanding, your prayer. Yes, Father, yes. Thank you for this day that we have Hallelujah. Oh, it's good. Yes, yes, yes. yes.
Stand into your feet, stand into your feet. Thank you so much, musicians. Thank you so much, praise team. The Lord is good, isn't he? I said the Lord is good, isn't he? I try one time. The Lord is good, isn't he? And he is greatly to be praised. Nehemiah chapter 1, Nehemiah chapter 1. For the sake of time, I want you to place your attention to verse number 3. And they said unto me, the remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken and the gates is burned down thereof with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and I wept and mourned for certain days. Nehemiah had to get it out of him. And prayed before the God of heaven. And prayed before the God of heaven. Look at somebody real quick and say, see me after prayer. See me. See me after prayer. Say it again. See me after prayer. Amen. See me. Father, how we thank you and we thank you for this opportunity to preach your word on today. There is nobody like you. And besides you, there are no others. And God, we come now submitting our hearts and hands and even our head unto you. And God, I pray that as a man of God, you hide me behind the cross beneath the dripping of your blood. That the people will see less of me, but yet will hear more of you. Amen. Spirit of a living God, fall fresh Hallelujah. on these clay hands, these clay lips. Amen. And then God, whatever we say and do, we pray it all will be done to glorify you. Amen. In the strong name of Jesus, we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 For, about, for about 12, 13 minutes, say, see me after prayer. See me after prayer. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Nehemiah chapter 1 introduces itself with the situation of bad news. No matter how young, how old, rich, poor, employed, unemployed, big house, little house, black house, white house, righteous, unrighteous, saved, unsaved, all of us, if we keep living, will be faced with bad news. I know you love the Lord. He heard your cry. Mm. And he pitied your every groan. But I don't yeah. care. All of us will be faced yes. with some bad news. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Psalm 112, 6 and 7 says this. For the righteous will never be moved. Watch this. He will be remembered forever. He is not afraid of bad news. Mm -hmm. I need somebody in here who knows the Lord. That you can open up your mouth and say, I'm not afraid of bad news. So somebody in here know what bad news is. You've experienced bad news. And you've endured bad news. You've got a t-shirt for it. You know what bad news is. Can somebody say amen? But the psalmist says that we are not afraid of bad news and uh, my heart is firm trusting in the Lord. In other words, when you hear bad news, it is not for you to be moved. When you hear bad news and bad news uh, has come and knocked on your door as it did with Nehemiah, uh, even though, watch this, uh, you hear it, uh, it should not move you. Bad news come to all of us, brothers and sisters, and we must always trust God's heart. I say this when we cannot trace his hand. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? We must always trust the heart of God, even when we cannot trace the hand of God. And so the case is, what is bad news? Bad news, watch this, can be 
uh, identified and interpreted as information that we don't want to hear. It's these things sometimes that God himself would even share with us that we do not want to hear. Can I give one witness? Hallelujah. There are some things that God allows to happen and it comes into our ear gates. And if the truth be told, sometime we wish even God could have kept that news to himself. Yeah. I need y'all to walk with me. And so it's necessary brothers and sisters uh, to hear the news uh, because the Bible says this uh, and you shall know the truth yes, yes. and the truth shall make you free yes. so then bad news also is a mechanism uh, which makes us watch this uh, confront uh, and be accountable with dealing uh, with what's truth Amen. truth then is necessary somebody say truth is necessary Say truth is necessary. It's necessary for going to the next level. And I don't want none of you to be living in a lie. I don't want you to live in a lie. I don't want you to occupy in a lie. I want you to be able to deal with the truth. Y'all ain't saying that you may not want to hear the truth. You may not want to deal with the truth. But at the end of the day, God says, I would rather hurt your feelings now than to hold up your future forever. Amen. Some people don't want the truth. And that was the case. Watch this. Uh, in Nehemiah's case here, Nehemiah did not really want to hear the news that he got. But when Nehemiah got the news, when Nehemiah got this news. It was a knock on the door. Nehemiah is in the palace of Shushan. He's in the palace. He's living good. He's living well. He's living large. Amen. And the problem that he got was not his problem. Amen. And sometimes when bad news comes, you got to understand that all bad news is not your problem. Amen. All bad news is not for you to deal with. I had to tell somebody the other day, I said, listen, uh, sometime when you go see patients, you got to be careful not getting sick with the patient. Oh, sometimes when you visit people, you got to end up not getting uh, what they have. Yeah. Because sometimes some people are just contagious. Uh, I need y'all to talk to me today. Some people are just plain uh, contagious. Yeah. Depression is contagious. Yeah. Yeah. That, that evil spirit is uh, contagious. Yeah. That, that spirit that want to come to church but not have church uh, and not want to, to lift up holy hands uh, and that spirit uh, that wants to complain uh, instead of clapping their hands, uh, it's contagious. Uh, you, you woke up this morning with your mind, uh, stayed on the Lord, uh, and you walked into the house uh, of God uh, and here they are complaining uh, again. Amen, amen. Somebody say they complain, they complain again, again, again. Every time you see them, they complain and they never have nothing good to say. Hallelujah. Never have nothing good to say about the Lord, but has the Lord done anything for you this week? Has the Lord, let me say, has the Lord done anything for you this week? Let me ask you again, has the Lord done anything for you this week? Has God woke you up this week? Has God fed you this week? Has God covered you this week? Has God put a hedge around you this week? And every once in a while, you gotta lift up your hand and say, It was nobody but the Lord. Shout, Nobody but the Lord. Shout, Who was on my side. I, I need y'all say, Nobody. Say, Nobody who was on my side. But say, The Lord, He is faithful. And if you learn how to pray, if you learn how says, if my people, which are called by my set name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I forgive they sin, and I will heal they land. So what Nehemiah did, he heard the bad news. But he knew a good God. I need you to open up your mouth. Because you heard the bad news. But 